The Art Museum of Greater Lafayette is currently showcasing artwork created by high school students right here in the area. It's an annual exhibit, but this year it's really expanding. News 18's Cameron DeBlasio is live at the Art Museum to share more about the pieces currently on display. So Cameron, it really looks like an impressive collection for the public to go see. Yeah, Marley, it's pretty amazing to see what these young artists are capable of creating. And this exhibit will be on display here at the museum until April 17th. And for many of these students, this showcase is likely just the beginning of their artistic journeys. Harrison senior Matthew Pekarik has always had a creative mind. I've been building things, I'd say, probably since the time I could pick up a hammer. Same for Benton Central senior Alexandra Honeycutt. I've been creating art probably my whole life, like just as far as I can remember. Now that creativity is being rewarded. This is probably one of my biggest awards or like anything I've ever gotten. I did not expect the result that I did receive, and so that was actually very thrilling. Both students received top honors for their pieces on display in this year's high school exhibit at the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette. It's the first time the exhibit is back in the gallery since the pandemic, and museum curator Andrea Klutsky says it's bigger than ever. Normally we have about uh, 120, 130, uh, but to have 183, the jurors decided this year that um, we were just going to include everything. The exhibit showcases student work from eight local high schools. Klutsky says it's always popular. We've had so many um, people from the community come in. They just they want to see the, the new talent that's coming to the community. Talent like Pekarik, Honeycutt, and Lafayette Jeff Sr. Muhammad Mbala Kalele. He's already like a natural artist when we met him. Muhammad is a refugee from Africa. His teacher, Mara Batiste, says art has been a lifelong passion for him, too. He just started painting last year, um, but you've always liked to draw when you were a little kid, right? Yeah, the stick. Yeah. The stick, my St Stick figures? Yeah. Those stick figures have now matured into award-winning work like this, depicting one of his other art teachers. He wanted to do a portrait of Mr. Marin because being in his class meant a lot to him coming here and getting comfortable and learning um, how to speak English and like being able to do something that he enjoyed doing. It's something all three of these high schoolers enjoy doing and plan to continue doing. I do think that I will be doing art for probably the rest of my life <laughs> because it's definitely the most expressive thing that I mean I can probably do as a person. I'd say it's very meaningful to be able to share your work and your vision with the world. Yeah, so cool to have a chance to talk with all of those bright students and their work along with many other students' work will be on display here at the museum seven days a week from 11 to 4, like I said earlier, until April 17th. Live in Lafayette, Cameron DeBlasio, News 18.